Hello, welcome to History Quest, where we take fascinating journeys into the past. Today, we'll be exploring some incredible fearless women war heroes. There is a predominant ethos that women should be protected from war. However, many have shown, since time began, the courage and toughness needed in defending their country's freedom. Here are some women who became war heroes and sometimes martyrs during World War II. Ruby Bradley Ruby was a United States Army nurse from 1934 and was stationed in the Philippines when Pearl Harbor was bombed in 1941. Three weeks later, she was captured by the Japanese Army and later moved to an internment camp in Manila. She and other nurses there became known as Angels in Fatigues for their untiring work to save fellow prisoners. She provided medical help to the POWs and risked her life by smuggling medical supplies into the camp, enabling her to perform 230 operations and deliver 13 babies. She gave her own meager rations to starving children in the camp and her weight loss enabled more equipment to be smuggled in under her uniform. The internees were rescued on February the 3rd, 1945 and despite Bradley's ordeal, she then served as a chief evacuation hospital nurse in the Korean War. In November 1950, she waited until every patient was safely on the plane, leaping aboard just before her ambulance was bombed. She was made chief nurse for the 8th Army, and in 1958 became a colonel and one of the most decorated women in the United States military, with 34 medals and awards. Hanny Shaft when Holland fell to the Germans in 1940, Annie Shaft, a young student, began small acts of resistance against the enemy. She stole identity cards for her Jewish friends, then graduated to thieving German weapons and distributing anti-Nazi pamphlets. Refusing to sign the Declaration of Allegiance to Germany, she was forced to quit her university studies and in 1943 joined the communist resistance group Rad van Wurtzen. She gathered intelligence and assisted fugitives, and her willingness to engage in dangerous missions soon saw her undertaking sabotage, weapon transportation, and eliminating collaborators. She learned German for communicating with German soldiers during operations, and, wanted by the Gestapo, was known only as the girl with the red hair, until her real name was disclosed to the Nazis by a prisoner. Hanny then dyed her hair black and wore big glasses. Her courageous resistance work continued until her apprehension in March 1945, when her red hair began to grow out. The Nazis realised they'd had the girl with the red hair and executed her. Nadezhda Popova Nadezhda Popova, born in 921 in Russia, was a flight instructor who tried to join the military as an Air Force pilot. The Russian government had barred women from combat. But in October 1941, Stalin needed more pilots and ordered the formation of three regiments of female pilots. Popova joined up and was placed in a night bombing regiment. Their planes were flimsy 1920s Polycarfov PO2 biplanes, comprising only fabric stretched over plywood frames and with no guns or parachutes, but a weight limit that permitted only two bombs. The pilots made multiple runs at night, with Popova doing as many as 18 runs. Popova's regiment became known by the Germans as Night Witches, because the planes were impossible to spot, but made a whooshing sound, like a witch's broomstick in the night. Popova rose through the ranks, flying 852 missions during the span of the war. She was shot down several times, but survived with no major injuries. After one relief mission, she returned with a plane full of bullet holes, even a map and helmet. At the end of the war, she received a hero's welcome home. Princess Nora Niza Inayat Khan Princess Nora Niza Inayat Khan was born in 1914 of noble Indian parents, living in France. Before World War II, she was a poet and a children's author. After the fall of France to the Nazis, her family fled to England in June 1940. Calm was an avowed pacifist and anti-Nazi. She joined the Women's Auxiliary Air Force in November 1940, trained as a wireless operator and was assigned to bomber training. 
Later recruited into the Special Operations Executive, Khan's training was never completed due to doubts about his suitability for espionage. However, being a French speaker and trained wireless operator, she was flown into France in June 1943 and joined the Physician Network in Paris. Soon all other radio operators in the network were detained with hundreds of other resistance members. Khan was offered passage back to Britain but refused and remained in Paris as the key wireless operator. She became the most wanted British agent in Paris, managing to avoid arrest despite wireless detection vans constantly pursuing her. She was finally detained in October 1943 after betrayal by a double agent. Khan attempted escape but was sent to a German prison where she was shackled for 10 months. Despite beatings and starvation, she never divulged any intelligence and was executed at Dachau on September 13th, 1944. Nancy Wake Nancy was born in 1912 in New Zealand and raised in Australia. She was a journalist in Marseille when the Germans invaded. She worked as an ambulance driver until France fell to the Nazis, then became a courier for the French resistance. With her husband, she ran a safe house for an escape network from their home. They rescued 200 fallen pilots, arranging their safe return to Britain. With the Gestapo's 5 million franc bounty on Wake's head, she fled to Britain, where she joined the Special Operations Executive. In 1944, she parachuted into occupied France to work as a liaison between London and a resistance cell. She became a commanding officer, organising arms and equipment for 7,000 men. Dubbed the White Mouse by the Gestapo, Wake worked on sabotage missions, attacking bridges, railway lines, German trucks and the Gestapo headquarters. When the war ended, she was its most decorated woman. Thanks for watching History Quest. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit the like button and subscribe? Until next time, bye.